G'day and welcome to the Geek Teacher. Today we're going to be looking at a sample program for using Microsoft's SAPI tools which are built into Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, so that we don't have to use the ridiculous uh, user ca agent characters that used to be around there. If you remember Clippy that's a good example of it or should I say a poor example. So today we're going to be making a program which is basically just to have it speak text straight out of a text box. Now you could use that for mouse overs or anything and it's a good idea to build uh, some of this functionality in for people who have disabilities. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you from the scratch, for so from screen design all the way through. Now I've written my purpose of the product which is to demonstrate how to use built-in SAPI controls in Visual Basic Express to have it speak out text from a text box. Now what, we el what else we need to do is actually then design our screen. So I'm using an open source program called Pencil uh, Google for it. It's a brilliant uh, little program because you can just drag and drop uh, all the items that you want. So here's Windows XP. It's fairly familiar. You can see that. That's fairly normal, yes. So there's my window and I'm going to drag a couple of buttons on. One for that and one down here. I'm also going to drag a text box on because I'm going to need something for them to type their text into to say. And then I'm just simply going to go through and edit this. So this top button, I'm going to uh, say that it's speak it, so that people know what to press. Now that's going to be called BTN speak. This one is a text box. I'm going to actually type the name of my text box in here, TXT speak. And this one is going to be, of course, the exit button. So uh, it's going to be called text to speech sample. There you go. And that's my screen design. So I've got TXT Speak, which is a text box that they'll type their words into. Speak it, uh, otherwise known as BTN Speak, which when they click it, it will speak out loud whatever is in here. And the exit button, BTN Exit, which will, of course, end the program. Now I'm going to export this to a file for me to use and refer back to. So what I'm going to do first is trim the canvas. Uh, I like having a 5 pixel um, trimming around there, so I just simply right clicked and went resize canvas fit content with padding. And then I'm just going to save it. So document, save as, I'm going to put this on my desktop, uh, which has disappeared. No, I'm not. So I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to call this one text to speech sample. And I'm going to save it in here. So this is my screen design. There we go. Now I'm using Google Apps as well which is a free one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go document export page as PNG because it can read it and in here I'm going to make sure that I keep .png because unfortunately one thing Pencil doesn't do well is actually rename files when you've got it in there but that's something that we can do. So I'm going to call it screen.png and it will be saved. So now I can bump out of that and come back into my document. I'm also then going to oops, open my file and go to my documents back into here. So there's my box and there's my screen.png and simply drag and drop it in. You may not be aware that Google Apps can do that, but it can. So there you go. There's my screen design. And I could draw arrows in here. Unfortunately, the software I'm using to actually do my recording won't let me do that. It keeps taking the um, focus away from it so it's a bit of a problem so now the next step is to list what controls I'm going to have I'm going to have TXT speak which is a text box I'm going to have BTN speak which is a button and I'm going to have BTN exit which is also a button now from these we're going to have a click event on the speak it uh, button and a click event on BTN exit. Now I'm not going to have any event associated with TT TXT speak. I'm just going to type in that and then click on that button and it will take me there. Okay, so algorithm design. Let's look at BTN exit first. Now what it's going to do is exit the program. That's all we need it to do. So I'm going to draw my nice little Nashi Schneiderman diagram in here. This is another free program called Structurizer. I'm using the web-based one because it's just easy to switch between. Um, and I'm going to double-click on that, which will bring up 
a window on my other monitor but there you go and I'm going to title this whatever it is that I'm doing so this is BT and exit click because it's a click event that I'm using now normally in Visual Basic there's a whole heap of stuff in here but we just want to know that that's the exit button that's being clicked and double click in this single box and we are simply going to end program fantastic now I can save that as well now this is written in Java so um, that's all the fun that we have I'm gonna call this BTN exit click and press save uh, what I'm also going to do is copy the bitmap diagram to clipboard which I could use control D for come back here and paste it in and there we go there is or there will be in just a moment my oh look at this my internet connections having fun my Nasi Schneiderman diagram for exiting the program so that will tell me what I need to program speak whatever is in the text box well obviously this is going to be BTN speak click we want it to happen when we click on it yes and not before so back here we go we create a new one double click don't know why my box keeps going on to the other screen but it does and we're going to call this BTN speak click because that's the event that I'm referring to and this one's simply going to be um, say txt speak dot text so it's going to be the text that's in DP, um, txt speak again I'm going to save that and I'm going to save it in here so I've got a record of it and then I'm going to copy my bitmap diagram to the clipboard again come back to my Google Docs and paste it and after a while it will pop up and now it is time to code hurrah so we're going to bump over into Visual Basic and come to our start page. We're going to create a new project. Right here, so what we're going to do is recreate our screen, which if you can remember, uh, looks like this. Excellent. I might even put a label in there to tell people what it is that I'm doing. So we'll pop back, we'll chuck a button on here. We'll chuck a button down here. Excellent, let's put that. In a, in a nice usual spot because consistency is king there we go I'm gonna put a text box in up here I'm gonna make it take that whole space I will put a label in up here excellent so now there's all my controls I need to name them all I'll start with the form because that is what we do now I'm going to name everything first and then go back and change the text properties now the name for this one is going to be form main because it's my main form uh, pop on over to my text box and this is going to be txt speak like I mentioned in the algorithm so txt speak this one's going to be btn speak because it's the speak button and this one is going to be btn exit excellent I'm not na naming this because it really doesn't matter. It's just there for information. I'm not going to be working with it, so it can stay as is. But I am going to type in enter text to speak. There you go, and you'll notice that that comes up here. I'm using the text property because that holds the text in there, as it does in the text box. I'm going to leave that blank, but I'm going to pop along to button one, and button one is a really bad thing, so I'm going to say speak it. And when I press enter, you'll notice it up here. It changes there. BTN exit is the next one. So that's going to be exit. If I put an and sign, uh, ampersand in just before the X, it will underline the X. And that's brilliant. Now I'm going to also come and say that this is text to speech sample. And that will change this up here. I'm going to add my comments so that I know what I'm doing in my code. This is how I code. It lets me know what I'm doing, which is brilliant. Come up here to speak it, and this is going to be speak the text in txt speak dot text so that I know what I'm doing. Now to do that, I'm gonna need some public um, variables up here. I'm gonna need to create them. So I'm gonna do some form uh, level 
variables. Now, a form level variable uh, allows me to use that variable throughout the entire form rather than just in the procedure. If I declare a variable in here, it will only work in here. But if I want to be able to say speak on the exit button as well, then I can, then I would declare it up in here. Now that then makes it uh, work for the entire form. Let's go back and add some of my code. I need to end. Excellent. That's all I need to end my program. Now to speak, I need to actually create a variable. I'm going to call it my voice. You'll notice I don't actually declare it as anything because what I'm going to do is create an object. And this is going to be sappy.spvoice. Now hopefully I've initiated the uh, sappy up in here. If I haven't, let's have a look at what I've got. If I come down to reference under project, this will show all the items that are available for me to work with. Uh, come to com. And just make sure that the SAPI object is actually included. It's down in Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft's speech object library. I've got it there. Excellent. So I just double clicked on that. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do down here in BTN speak, this is how simple it is. I'm just going to say my voice dot speak and then open brackets txt speak dot text and that should do it. Let's have a look and see if that works. There's my program. I'm going to type some stuff in. I don't know if you could hear that so I'll type this in. I can speak I'm alive. Excellent. And I'll put the microphone closer to the speakers. I can't speak. I'm alive. And there you go. It's working. I could probably use this for all my other things from now on, for all my other programs. So that's all. Um, have a great day. Uh, enjoy your programming. It's your turn to go and it's your turn to go program this and make it happen. You've been watching the Geek Stress Teacher. Stressless. Be ninja.